When they first designed the, the airplane that was to become the SBD, it was the Northrop BT-1. And the dive brakes were solid. They didn't have the holes in them. And they went into a dive and they would continually during the testing would increase the dive angle to the point where they were at the 70 degree dive. When they put the dive brakes out where they were still solid, the tail started buffeting. That horizontal stabilizer was going up and down two feet. So there was a lot of buffeting going on back there. So they wrestled, wrestled with that question is, how do we decrease that buffeting, which is gonna tear the tail off the air? And they said, well, what do you think about this? And they said, have you tried drilling holes in the flats? So they started experimenting and they drilled bigger and bigger holes. And they finally realized that full flap, three inch diameter holes were the perfect size to where you could slow the aircraft down, but still not cause drag and only lose about 5% of your airspeed when you're landing aboard a carrier. 